Uh, this is why we try to keep this alive. This land in Hominy is full of rocks and tall weeds. It's quiet these days. But in the 1920s, this field is where the Hominy Indians played. They were Oklahoma's first pro football team. All the players were Native American. Art Shoemaker is a Hominy historian. They loved the sport. They played not only for money, but for the, for the challenge of playing. From the 1920s to the early 30s, the Hominy Indians were almost unbeatable on the gridiron. The team was stocked with the best Indian athletes from tribes in Oklahoma and the Midwest. The newspaper headlines would say the Redskins and the Warriors and all sorts of tags, but they were proud of being called Hominy Indians. Because they were so dominant, the Hominy Indians usually had to travel far to find opponents willing to face them. The Indians battled at Boston, New York, Memphis, St. Louis, Chicago. It was a different type of football than we're used to today. Right, well, Richard Luttrell's father was on the team in the 20s. On, you know, we... They were playing in cow pastures a lot of time, or where there were weeds, mud, rain, sleet, snow, they didn't care. The Hominy Indians' greatest victory was in 1927, when they defeated the mighty New York Giants in a championship game, yesteryear's version of the Super Bowl. Well, they didn't have the padding they have now. They didn't have the shoes, and the helmets were crude-looking things, and they were made out of leather. In 1932, the Great Depression swept the Hominy Indians off the gridiron for good. Professional football team. Art Shoemaker hopes a monument is built someday in tribute to this one-of-a-kind team. This is the first and most successful professional football team in Oklahoma.